Hello YouTube, it's Grossama, and here I have the Real Grey Tall Geese. Now this is the EW version, not the TV version, uh, which is the main difference is going to be the uh, veneers in the back right here. Uh, these are actually supposed to be uh, like a grayish, I think it's gray uh, in the TV version, uh, whereas this is obviously uh, white. So hey, it's, it, you know, kind of is what it is. I don't really mind it, um, and if, if you really want to change it to a TV version, um, that you just gotta repaint those. Uh, and other than that, I don't think there's really any other uh, major differences, maybe just the detail, but um, that's, that's pretty much all you're gonna really see uh, as far as the difference. Okay, so with this kit, um, I know a lot of people kind of criticize it because it, it really does look like a smaller version of the Master Grade. And um, honestly, it kind of is. There's, ob there's a lot more gimmicks in this suit and there's a lot more um, kind of like, you know, obviously color separation. There's, there's different uh, color shading. So you got like the, uh, the flat white, you got the uh, gloss white. You have two different tones of that yellow. Um, you're gonna have a little bit of gray in there, so there's there's gonna be a lot of different um, you know types of of colors in this mobile suit that is just not apparent in the Master Grade, uh, and I will do the comparisons at the end of the video with the Master Grade. Uh, but first, um, uh, the first thing I want to get out of the way is I do think this is a great kit, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, starting with the articulation. Okay, so taking a look at the head, uh, the head articula uh, articulation is pretty basic. It's really just uh, going to be on a ball joint, uh, so it can pretty much rotate all around, look up and down, uh, no kind of issues. And this little piece is just going to move up and down with it. But overall, the uh, the details do look really good. Uh, it's going to be a little, um, I guess it's like a teal or a torque uh, tor torquies um, sticker that. I, I think it looks really good. It's really reflective. So uh, if you catch the light, you know, right, you basically get a nice little uh, glare in, in the, that reflects off that sticker. And the back of the head is nothing really crazy. It's just going to be uh, some of those yellow uh, parts. And that's really about it for the head. Okay, so looking at the body, uh, the one thing I will mention is that I painted these little um, kind of circles red uh, because it was like that on the Master Grade. So I was like, you know what? I really want to mimic that because. Um, aside from the decals and the top, uh, you know, little, um, I forgot what this is called, but the little part for the Spartan. Um, aside from that, there's really no red present on this kit. So I was like, you know, let me just go ahead and just drop a couple of things of paint uh, right there. And I think it looks a little bit better than just the plain white. Uh, now looking at the articulation. Uh, it's, re it's really good to be honest. <laughs> it's like a, it's pretty amazing. So you get a nice bend right there and uh, it can turn pretty much left and right all the way, uh, maybe not all the way around. It, it can go pretty far, but I guess not all the way around because of the uh, the side skirts. Now there's this little, little thing right here in the back. Okay, so you basically push this little piece down and it'll clip into the part and it'll just stay. Now it's, it's a little tricky, let me get it just right. I think that's good, yeah. So it basically is going to stay in a fixed pose. Um, so if you do have it in a standing pose or something like that, um, it's not going to um, really fall back with the weight of the backpack, nor is it gonna fall forward, uh, unlike the Master Grade. However, even if you have this part unlocked, I, ha I had it quite, um, I had it unlocked quite a bit, and um, I really didn't see any, any major weight issues with this, but it, it, it its stability isn't the best, but it, it is decent. It's, it's better than most uh, real grades I've ever seen. Okay, so moving on to the arms. Uh, the arms are really good. Basically gonna be on a basic uh, joint right up in there, uh, bicep swivel. And then th this is the one thing that I find is very unique. Uh, the arm right here is fixed, so it cannot like it can't move back anymore. But obviously, you can go ahead and give it a bend. Uh, but this is going to be the max uh, like kind of room that you're gonna well the max uh, bend that you're gonna have uh, going backwards, which I don't think is a bad thing because I normally don't have them completely straightened. I always have it at a uh, a bend. So I was like, okay, that's that's not bad at all. Uh, and then the shoulders, these parts can go up and down. Uh, that's pretty much going to be about it. And obviously these parts are gonna have their own little gimmick whenever you're connecting the shield as well as the uh, Dober rifle. And then the uh, the hands are all fixed, so there's not gonna be any kind of posable uh, fingers, but they're all gonna be on a little uh, ball joint right here. So they can just you know basically move all the way around and uh, that's gonna be it for that. 
Okay, let's take a look at the waist. Uh, the waist is really nice. Um, I mean, it, it's the same thing as the Master Grade. Is really, I don't really see any difference uh, when I look at the comparisons. It's very, very much the same. Uh, but these side skirts, these are going to be uh, connected on this little uh, peg piece that connects right there in the uh, the leg. And then this, once uh, once I really get into the um, all the little gimmicks, but these little parts right here can open up, but I'll go into that uh, a little bit later. And then these side skirts, uh, the whole piece can just move out a little bit like so. Uh, and these are gonna be on little tiny um, ball joints. So these can just like move all the way around. And that's pretty good. And also you can go ahead and lift this side skirt and then the thrust right there is also gonna come out. So as you can see, like that, it can basically just pop right out. Um, I think it's a pretty cool gimmick, but I, I do think it's kind of like, like why? <laughs> but uh, overall, I mean, that's pretty dope. All right, and looking at the legs, uh, legs can come out that much. Um, bending backwards, not really gonna get much. Uh, that's really gonna be about it going backwards. And then they can go out that much, so basically doing these splits. Now you can obviously remove these, so um, if you really need to go and get certain, you know, uh, poses, then you can just go and take this out and you can kind of just like uh, plug this on the inside and uh, it'll be fine. But, you know, I'm just gonna, I, I keep mine just attached just for simplicity. And then the knee, obviously you can get a good bend right there and there's gonna be some amazing separation uh, right there. So this little part comes out and then this is gonna be separated. So I think that looks pretty awesome and then the ankle right here uh, nothing really you know too spectacular but uh, you could just basically bend it back and forth probably go a little further but I really don't want to test that and then you can go backwards that much and then forwards that much and then there also will be a, a little bit of a toe bend right here Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the thrusters. Uh, now the thrusters are gonna have some pretty uh, nifty little gimmicks. So the first thing we wanna do is open this little panel and then open uh, this one right here. So you're basically gonna be able to see the, uh, the thrusters right inside there. Okay, so went ahead and uh, put on some extra light. Uh, but yeah, you go ahead and see the thrusters right inside there. And then this little piece right here, this can actually just slide forward like so so you can just slide it back and forth so i'll just slide that back and now um, you want to open up these two little panels right here and then you want to pull right yeah if i can get it nope There you go. So you just pull on that and then this little piece will pretty much uh, pop right out um, I mean, overall, that's like really, like really awesome. Uh, the added um, parts right here, opening up these little panels, I think this just adds to it overall, and I think that looks fantastic. Okay, and next I wanna go ahead and take a look at the shield. Uh, so nothing really too crazy. Now, the one thing I did make a mistake on this is I put the sticker in the middle instead of up there because I was just like, putting this kit together and I was like, you know, I just wanna hurry up and get these decals done and over with. And I didn't realize that it should have been at the top and not in the middle. Cause I'm just so, I'm so used to the emblems uh, being in the middle. But uh, other than that, it's really glossy, much like all the other white on the, uh, the tall geese and looks pretty good. And then it's also gonna house the, uh, the beam saber hilts right on the inside. And then these little parts have their own little articulation, which can uh, pretty much rotate, if I can get it to focus. Uh, which can rotate all the way around. And then this is uh, a little handle that can basically rotate uh, forward. Now in order to mount it, uh, you're just gonna go and use this piece and this piece is gonna connect onto the shoulder right there. Now you do get some different types of hands and obviously you can see uh, this one does have the closed fists. You have the open hand, which is gonna be on both hands as well. And then the hand that can uh, basically grab onto any kind of weapons like the beam sabers or even the shield. And there he is holding the shield with the open hand. Okay, and here is the Dober gun. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's basic, uh, nothing really too spectacular. It's gonna be molded in a uh, pretty dark blue as well as this uh, nice little gray. Uh, so it's only gonna have two different tones of color. Now you are gonna have a little uh, sticker right here uh, for the scope. As you can see, it's a little green reflective sticker. Uh, so nothing really wrong with that. Now also, uh, this thing can basically uh, recoil like this. 
Um, that, I guess that's the little gimmick. So uh, what my takeaway from this is, uh, is that it is a um, uh, ammo. Uh, it's, it's basically like shells. Uh, I thought it was beams, but I guess not. So it looks like this is actually going to, uh, the tall geese one was, um, was a shell usage. I, and I just didn't know that. But overall, it's pretty dope. Okay, and here it is with the Dober gun. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, the mobility of it while in the hand is actually pretty nice. Um, so you can pretty much go all the way up like that. Um, and also pretty much kind of bend out as well. So you're gonna have obviously the uh, the different pegs and all the different joints uh, right up here. And then this is gonna connect to a ball Okay, so the ball joint is going to peg right inside there. Now for the actual um, the handle, this little part rotates, so this is going to be on a little ball joint, and then this can just kind of rotate in and out like so, which I think is really uh, nifty. I didn't, I don't think the Master Grade had that, if I'm not mistaken, but um, this can just rotate all the way out like so, and that just to me that is this is going to make posing so much better with this kit. Okay, and so for the beam savers, obviously you're gonna have uh, these nice little beam savers right here. And you also get some clear ones, so if you wanna go ahead and paint those any kind of color you want, you can definitely do so. Okay, so this kit's actually gonna come with a different hand. Uh, and as you can see, the thing about this hand, if you just focus, um, the thing about this hand is that uh, the joint right here is actually uh, like kind of angled downward. So if you want to uh, kind of have like more thrusting poses, uh, you can definitely do so with this. And it's only gonna be for the right hand, so not uh, anything for uh, the left, but you can just go ahead and plug that in. And then now you can have some, you know, pretty much like a little thrusting pose uh, like so. And yeah, so with that beam saber and the, the kind of angled uh, hand, I mean, it looks really good. It, it To me, it looks like dope as hell. Um, so if you're really wanting to maybe do some kind of like crazy kind of poses uh, with the beam saber, you are definitely gonna be able to do so with this hand. And here's one more pose uh, just for y'all. And you can definitely expect this to, uh, this is gonna get some nice poses in the pose review. Okay, and here is a quick comparison of uh, the real grade and the master grade. Um, the main points I wanna go ahead and, uh, and point out is just the overall weight. So this is a lighter kit than the master grade, uh, and that means the accessories is also gonna be lighter on the real grade than the master grade. Um, the Master Grade's problem is that uh, you, you can make it stand, but it's really uh, tedious, and a lot of times, um, you know, these things, you, you can't really do too much with them, because if you do like that, uh, as you can see, if you put the weight out too far back, the back is just gonna completely bend backwards. So you gotta try and like help it by bringing all the weight to the front uh, to give it, you know, kind of like a normal standing pose. Uh, whereas with this one, you, since you have the locking mechanism, um, you can honestly push these uh, back a little bit further out. So if I can go ahead and get away with this. Um, but with the little locking mechanism right there, bam, you're not gonna have any issues uh, kind of throwing those little thrusters uh, all the way back like so. Whereas this one, uh, just even doing one, it's not gonna do it right now, but trust me when you when you get that weight back There we go. So it's, <laughs> it's just pretty much going to uh, to collapse with all that weight kind of bring just pulling it back And now I brought the other guy back all right, and another thing is going to be the details um, I'm trying to bring them as close as, as I can with the with them still being in focus uh, But the details are relatively going to be the same um, Proportions I want to say they look the same, but it's kind of hard uh, The only thing that is a major difference is going to be uh, I would say the legs um, these legs right here uh, to me they look a little bit more uh, fat and then they have a, a better dip on the side right here whereas with this one it looks like it's just more uh, as it looks more straight there is a slight dip right here but it's just it, it's more of like a solid um, flat part and it has like a slight curvature uh, right there and then these thighs I think on the massacre are just significantly bigger uh, in proportion to the rest of the body whereas this one uh, they really like they really slimmed it down which 
I'm not, I'm not really saying I'm complaining because I do, I, still, I do still like the proportions on this. Uh, I think this is actually a little more slim on the waist uh, than on the Master Grade. Um, but overall, I think all the details, panel lines are actually borderline the same. Uh, the backpacks are going to be slightly different, uh, especially with the gimmicks. Uh, but also because like you need stickers for this, whereas this is a, a part. So that's a, that's a really good deal. Um, and then just po uh, posability. Um, this one having a, I would say the little inner frame that it has uh, is way more sturdy on here than what it is on the Master Grade. But there's only a five year difference between the two. But I do still say that the, uh, just my verdict right now, I will tell you the real grade is gonna be worth it, both in detail, gimmicks, and price. Um, the only benefit to getting a Master Grade over the real grade is only going to be uh, for the scale. So if you just want a bigger scale tall geese, then yes, of course you'll get the master uh, the master grade. But I'm I'm so, like I was completely skeptical with getting the real grade tall geese. But right now I am 100% in love with this kit. So I think it looks. I, I think I think this is just way way better uh, than the master grade. Okay, so the last couple of things I want to go ahead and, and uh, let y'all know about. Um, obviously, it's going to have like the little stand piece. Uh, it's a little block, and it just slides uh, right underneath the um, base of the crotch. And um, it's going to have this nice little sticker sheet, but it's going to be a lot of leftovers. So as you can see right here, uh, there's definitely going to be a lot left over that you can go ahead and utilize for whatever else. Um, but that's it guys. Um, overall, my view of this kit, like I mentioned, is, is fantastic. Um, I, I don't really see too many flaws. Uh, it, let, me, if I can, let me just think of some flaws real quick. Um, one, uh, proportions, some of the proportions are a little bit off, uh, mainly just in the legs. Uh, I do like the, the more slim uh, torso. Uh, that's just kind of like the way I view it. I, I definitely like the uh, the torso. Um, it was not a complicated build at all. It was actually a very simplistic build. So um, I, I don't suspect anyone really having any kind of problems. Um, maybe the only place you might have some problems might be um, the thrusters, the uh, veneers uh, right here in the back. But even those weren't really complicated. Um, it was just, they, they were a little, you gotta like fiddle around with it to get uh, a lined up uh, precisely. Um, maybe, maybe the decals is kind of a negative. Like yes, they're stickers, um, but they're just not like very, I don't know. They're not like very noticeable, but even the Master Grade wasn't like, it wasn't like really like, you know, like, outspoken like it doesn't it doesn't really like express itself with the decals but that could be a good thing it could be like it's very very subtle so it's not gonna like overwhelm the uh, overall aesthetics of the build um, but for this is like just coming for a real grade this is probably just one of the better real grades I've, I've really got to handle now I have, I have not built the Banshee Norn I haven't built the Unicorn haven't built the Exia the Riser haven't built the Double Quant um, but every other real grade I've built uh, including like the Freedom Strike Freedom Justice uh, Zeta RX-78 like this is just a very solid build like nothing pops off nothing falls off um, pieces aren't just like scattering all over the place this is a very tight real grade and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is kind of aligned to uh, just the overall um, kind of designs that they've been putting into the real grades uh, especially like since uh, the Zeta I heard some I mean not the Zeta uh, since the unicorn I heard so many good things about that and maybe they're just taking a lot of like better steps to get in this real grade line um, just top tier essentially but hey guys that's all I got um, so like I said, amazing kit, pick it up if you can, um, but also, hey, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe to this video. <laughs> um, so if you do enjoy these videos, if you enjoy, do enjoy uh, kind of like my opinions and uh, just kind of like my overall thoughts uh, with you know Gundam kits in particular, um, definitely go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, also ring that bell for future notifications so that way you're always up to date because you know how YouTube kind of is. Sometimes it shows in the subscription fee, uh, subscription fee sometimes it does not. Um, but that's it guys. I'm, I will be doing a post video probably Wednesday, um, but 
I'll, I'll definitely get it out to y'all as fast as I can. Uh, Thursday, uh, I don't see myself doing any videos uh, just because it's going to be my wife's birthday and we got a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do. Um, and then Friday is going to be pretty busy with uh, me getting the uh, the Leo, the high grade Leo, as well as um, the Diver Ace um, pack for the Double O Diver. So it's going to be a pretty busy weekend, um, but I will definitely get this uh, pose video out to y'all as fast as I can. But thanks a lot guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.